Phoebe recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. The electronically shifted 5-speed automatic transmission Mercedes 722.6 has been used by many different vehicle manufacturers, including Mercedes-Benz, Chrysler, Jaguar, Jeep, Dodge and Sangyong. The hydraulic and electronic control of this transmission is achieved by the six solenoids connected to the conductor plate, which is attached to the valve body inside the transmission. The conductor plate also carries out the electrical sensing and control for the internals of the transmission, providing input shaft speed, indication of the park and neutral positions to inhibit the starting of the vehicle with the gear engaged, and the sensors for the oil temperature and level. However, the conductor plate and the electrical plug connector to the wiring harness can be problematic, causing issues that result in the vehicle entering fail-safe mode and logging fault codes relating to the sensors and or solenoids valves. In this video, we replace the transmission oil service kit and the conductor plate on the Mercedes CLK equipped with this transmission. With the vehicle raised, remove the transmission under tray followed by the drain plug, allowing the transmission oil to drain. When the flowing oil reduces to a drip, refit the drain plug. Then, whilst supporting the oil pan, undo the six retaining bolts and spacers and lower the oil pan into a receptacle. Check for any debris. Remove and discard the old oil filter. Next, remove the wiring harness plug. Turn the lug on the collar anti-clockwise, which will click, and jack out the harness plug. This allows access to the center of the plug connector. Undo the retaining bolt and then prise it out. Remove the 10 screws holding the valve body to the transmission. Carefully remove the valve body from the transmission, paying close attention to the inhibitor plunger. Working on a clean prepared surface and with the valve body removed, remove the plastic solenoid covers from the valve body conductor plate and the three bolts holding the leaf springs. The solenoids can now be carefully removed. Note their positions. The shift solenoids do not have O-rings, whilst the pressure modulating solenoids have two. Unclip and remove the conductor plate from the valve body and inspect the valve body for debris. Also check the ports into which the solenoids fit. Position the new conductor plate onto the valve body, locate the two tabs and carefully click into position. Lubricate the O-rings and push the solenoids back into their ports whilst aligning the contacts. Refit the leaf springs and tighten, then refit the plastic solenoid covers. Refit the valve body to the transmission, locating the selector plunger on the selector sector, and tighten the valve body retaining bolts. Lubricate the new electrical plug connector O-rings and align the holes in the guide bush with the pins in the conductor plate. Then push into place and tighten the retaining bolt. The conductor plate is connected to the wiring harness of the transmission by this connector which is sealed inside the conductor plate and the transmission casing O-rings. A failure of these seals allows oil to enter the harness plug, where metal contaminants suspended in the oil can cause short circuits. Refit the wiring harness plug and turn the collar clockwise until resistance is felt. Turn it a further 30 degrees until it clicks into its locked position. Fit the new oil filter making sure the barbs on the filter fit into the slot in the valve body. Replace the transmission oil pan gasket and refit the oil pan using the new bolts supplied in the kit. Tighten all the bolts in sequence to the required torque figures. Lower the vehicle. Removing the red locking pin on the transmission filler tube, remove the plug and replenish the oil through the dipstick filler tube. Phoebe Dipstick 38023 is required to measure the oil level of the transmission. The dipstick is around 1 meter long and is pushed into the transmission dipstick tube until it touches the bottom of the sump pan. 
Connect a suitable diagnostic tool to check the transmission oil temperature. Start the engine and let it idle for two minutes. Move the selector lever through the different positions, resting for 10 seconds in each position. This will fill the clutches and purge any air. When the oil has reached the specified temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, insert the dipstick to check the fluid level and then adjust as necessary to the required level. Switch off the engine, refit the dipstick plug and fit a new red locking pin. Raise the vehicle, check for any leaks and refit the under tray. Lower the vehicle and roads test.